Sarah Fezio, and today I'm going to do another pour with Olympic One, um, but I'm going to use Nemethicone this time. Now, I have some leftover paint from the last painting, and I'm slowly going to use that stuff I scooped up off the <clears throat> table to just add it to my canvas. Now I am going to be adding some dimethicone to this. Most of this will probably just pour off. And my dimethicone I'm going to use is wet platinum. I went and got some more and I'm going to add it to this leftover pink I have. I'm just going to stir that in. It's kind of thickened up so I'm going to add just a little bit of water. Here's what dribbled off the last canvas. There's that much paint in there. So I'm just going to add this pink straight in that has the dimethicone in it. And I'm going to use my other colors and just put them on the canvas. So I had quite a bit of orange left. I have a little bit of light orange, which I'm going to add some water to, and a little bit of dimethicone in there. Swirl it around, mix it up, and also drop that into my pour. There's a tad of dark orange left. Again, some dimethicone in there, just a drop or so. Some water. And drop that in my cup as well. Then I'm going to use my stir stick to kind of coat the canvas a little bit. I have some white left. Now I normally don't add dimethicone to my white, but I'm going to. That was about four drops in here. This is the consistency of the white. And again, I'm just going to drop that in there in that cup with all the stuff in it. Just kind of plopping it in using all my paint. There's enough left over in those cups in case I need it for any reason or whatever. And you can see right away when I swipe, we're going to get some cells. So, 
I think this time, and I have this which I poured, I'm going to put some dimethicone in that too. I don't want what's left on my canvas to be too thick. I'm going to give this a stir and I'm going to drop that at the top and just kind of swipe it down. You don't want your paint to be too thick because if it is, then it won't dry right <clears throat> when you're done. Okay, so here's my cup with my pour. I'm probably just going to swipe this. It's very orange. And see how those cells are appearing? But it's pitting on my canvas. I have to go this way because there's nothing on the canvas right here. So I can see the canvas through there, which I don't want at all. It's very fluid though.
And interestingly, this paint is already starting to dry. There's some cells up here in the stuff I poured. <clears throat> but there's not enough paint on the canvas, so. I'm definitely holding the flame closer than I normally do and that's just simply because I really need this painting to do something at this point. But the colors are so subtle that it's forming cells like right here. You just can't see them very well. Like here too. Let me tilt it some more. Or maybe not. I actually like the way it looks. But I definitely am going to have to go through and patch up the sides because the sides have hardly any paint on them. But what does looks really good. And I kept messing with this painting mainly because I wanted it to look similar to what I had on the other canvas. Excuse me. There's 
there's not a whole lot of white in it, just some white at the top. Now I need to turn it so that I can see the other side. See, nothing, there's nothing on this side. Sorry if my head's in the way. I will say this, this paint is drying very fast. Surprisingly fast, actually. Okay, let me go back with the torch one more time and I think we're going to be done. The other painting looks great. This one, different but still nice. And here you see I'm definitely getting cells right there. You should be able to see that. The cells popping out in the orange. Not really anything on the side. Some movement there. I have to be careful because I don't want too much movement. I had some really nice stuff right in here, but it's very tiny. I think I'm going to call this one done. So that is, this is Olympic one with dimethicone. Maybe it's slanted. I don't know. It's dripping off both sides. So both sides are covered. There's some cells on the sides. Just making sure the corners look okay. And I'm interested in seeing how this dries, honestly.
I still have half a cup of paint. I could do another canvas if I mixed up some white. That might actually look nice. And enough paint in case In the containers to actually do another one if I wanted to have four. But if I do it again, I'm going to need to have some um, oh, I don't know, some lost my train of thought. Haha, <laughs> we've I've mentioned people have mentioned in the comment that happens to them too. Yep, totally, totally get it. All right, so this was Olympic one with. Dimethicone. The colors I used were satin, they're satin finish, and this one is called Cinnamon Stone. This one is Fuchsia Flock. Fuchsia Flock. And I also used, where did it go? Orange Poppy. So now I have two and I'd like to do a set of four. That way you can sell them as a set, okay? They don't have to flow together, but at least the color pat pattern is similar. So you may not want someone that just wants one painting. If you have four that look similar and could be hung together, that'll also work, so. I want to thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it and you give Olympic One a try or other house paint. I'm not sponsored or anything. I did use Dimethicone. I've told you the paint colors, but more information is in the description. If you want to see pictures, you can go to my page on Facebook, Sarah Fezio Artist. I want to thank everyone for watching. For those of you that have been clicking on the ads, I did buy new lights and another table so I could actually do larger canvases. I hope y'all have a great evening. Lots of love. Bye.